This is Scott Jones with kstacks.com. Hyperacute hemorrhage can be relatively heterogeneous and low density, measuring 40 to 60 Hounsfield units. Within the first few hours of hemorrhage, blood will increase in density as a meshwork of fibrin is laid down. The attenuation of the blood products will rapidly approach 60 to 80 Hounsfield units. As the clot retracts, the attenuation value will continue to increase. Here's an example of an acute hemorrhage. Notice the areas of low attenuation mixed in with the areas of hyperattenuation. This finding is suggestive of hyperacute blood products mixed in with acute clotted blood. Once the clot has formed and retracted, the blood products will slowly dissolve and decrease in attenuation. At some point in the first two to eight weeks, the density of blood will drop to a degree that it will be the same density as the adjacent cortex. This occurs on average at 14 days. This is important to recognize because isodense hematomas can be difficult to detect. Here's an example of an isodense subdural hematoma. This case is pretty obvious because the hematoma is large. Notice how the gray-white matter interface is displaced immediately. There is a smaller isodense subdural on the other side. That's it for this short video.